Hi, I'm Anna Ross Davies from Altogether Equestrian here at Chalderton on this beautiful sunny morning and we are going to do some how-to training videos to help you improve your dressage training and your dressage tests. Okay, now we're going to show you how to ride a correct 20 metre circle and these come into your novice and elementary dressage tests and to be honest are often not really ridden quite accurately so we're going to show you how to ride a perfect one so you can all improve your marks and impress your judges okay beth so 20 meter circle first of all you, you will be riding your dressage test in either a 20 40 arena or a 20 by 60 arena um, you're if you're riding in a 20 40 arena as we are today then a 20 meter circle from A or C should just touch X as X is at the halfway point in the school. It's really important that you ride a clear corner before you ride your 20 meter circle. So we have a clear difference between a corner and a circle. So Beth, if you'd like to come down here and ride a clear corner before the C marker. That's it. Clear corner. So bending, turn, and then your 20 meter circle. Good. And if you can do that again, just touching X and reaching the track halfway between M and B and leaving the track immediately and now ride a corner. Very good. Good, right, okay, let's do that again. Okay, so there is a very big difference between riding a corner and riding a circle line. So Beth is gonna show us the corner and then you leave the track at C and touch the track halfway between H and E. You immediately leave the track, you just touch X, you leave X and you just touch the track here. So you don't ride on the track at all on a 20 meter circle. And now a corner, Beth. So as you can see, she's riding a completely different line when she rides the corner and when she rides the circle. One more time, Beth. She's maintaining an even rhythm in the horse. She immediately corrects Barossa if he starts to become a little lazy or behind her leg. That's it. Puts in a good flexion and bend now. Touch the track. Leave the track, that's it. Touch X, leave X, touch the track, leave the track. My top tip is do not ride on the track. Riding on the track has nothing to do with 20 meter circles or any circle because when you're on the track, you're on a straight line and circles are all about curves. The next thing I'd like you to look as we're just gonna ride this circle one more time is that Beth flexes the horse just before she starts the circle. So we have a corner, we have bend, she flexes him left, we start the circle. So he's given good preparation for this flexion and bend. She keeps her inside leg at the girth, her outside leg is slightly behind the girth, but she doesn't use the outside leg really unless he swings his quarters out and she needs to correct him. And as you can see, she's riding a very nice clear line there that would make it very obvious to a judge that she is riding a flexion and a bend and a circle and not just sort of rambling around the corner um, in the same way before and after the circle. So that was a good job. Well done, Beth. When you're measuring your circles, it's really important to be clear about where your, where your quarter lines and your centre lines are. So I'm standing at the moment on the centre line in the arena. This is 10 metres. 10 metres that side, 10 metres that side. Dressage arenas are always 20 metres wide. They can be 40 or 60 metres long, but they are always 20 metres wide. I'm going to walk to the quarter line. So one, two, three, four, five. This is your quarter line. Five metres this side and then 15 metres 
over to the far side of the arena. So if we were to ride a 15 metre circle from that side of the arena, this is the line you would ride to. And then 10 metres here. Then another five metres here. And it's a good idea if you're going to ride your test to just have a look at the arena and you may find that there are some visual points on your quarter lines and your centre lines that can help you achieve better accuracy. For example, Tom and the camera are directly on the five metre line. So if I were to ride a 15 metre circle in here, I would know to aim for Tom or the archway where the, where the five metre line is. I think there is um, a little plant pot on the other five metre line. So these are important things to look for that can help you become more accurate.